Hi, I'm Tiffany, the lady golf teacher, and welcome. This is Tuesday Tips from Tiff. Um, what I want to talk to you about is pre-shot routine. Do you have one? <laughs> um, the reason I'm asking you that is because people that are out playing golf, just, you know, what I've seen, you know, the, the average club golfer, they, they tend to just walk up to the ball, maybe line it up, then putt and like pray to God that the ball's going in the hole or getting close to the hole. And their head's scrambled, you know, they could be thinking about their stroke, they could not, not even be focusing on their golf, they might be thinking of something else that's been going on in their life or, you know, what they're going to do in, on the next uh, green or what they're going to do on the next tee shot or, you know, th their focus may not be here. And the reason that you want a pre-shot routine is you want to zone in on what you're doing. Now, I really stress that zone in on what you're doing, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you a pre-shot routine, and I actually got this re routine that I've used in my own golfing career um, from Kari Webb. So Kari, if you're ever watching, I'm a big fan of yours. Um, I developed my routine from yours because I really liked what you did. So I'm just going to share with everyone what uh, I mean by pre-shot routine, okay? so got the hole down there and I have my ball set okay now the first thing I want to make sure that I do that I've marked my ball and then I want to line it up okay so I'll just line my ball up to where I want the ball to go all right so I'm just going to aim it just slightly left of this hole and then I'm going to walk back and stand behind the line just to make sure I've got my line right so sorry I've got my back to you now so the first thing I've done is I've lined my ball up. Now the next thing, I'm pretty happy with that, so what I would then do is I would go down, pick up my marker and walk back. So what I'd do is I'd walk back and I'd stand right behind my ball, a few metres back, so about two or three metres back away from, from my ball, and I would get my putting stroke. Now what I would do is I would get myself set like I was going to stroke my ball and I'd just work on the putt. Now while I'm working on this putt, okay, I'm actually looking down the line of my uh, ball in where I want the ball to go. All right. So when I'm confident, when I'm standing over this way and I'm looking down my line, I've gone, yep, I'm confident that I've done the work from behind, I've lined up the ball, I've done my practice stroke. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to walk up and putt my ball. Okay. So just so I've just done my practice putting stroke, now I'm going to walk up you get my putter set, okay feet set, take a bow, okay and then I'm just going to do the stroke. Alright, okay, so the length of the stroke, that was pretty good. What happened there though, it was to the ball went to the right of the hole, so the ball's turning a little bit from left to right, so it's telling me that I've got to aim a little bit more to the left. Okay, so on my next putt, that's what I'd want to do, uh, is aim a little bit more to the left of the hole. Um, and then I'd repeat that again. So what I'm just going to go through the process again for you, but I'm going to talk you through it as I'm doing it, so I'm not going to stop. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is line up the ball. So I'm going to line this ball up. Okay, so I'll just aim it a bit more left than what I did before. I'm going to walk back and check my line. Okay. So I'm just walking away so you can actually see that I've lined my ball up. Okay, then I'm going to do practice putt. Okay, and I'm going to look down my line to make sure my line's right. And then I'm going to take a deep breath. So I'm going to walk down nice and slow, deeping, taking a nice deep breath, nice and slow, and then get my putt set. Now just quickly check the hole. Okay, get set. Now what I do is I say to myself, trust your swing, because I like to make sure that I trust myself. And I swing back and through and I do my stroke. Okay, all right. So that's pretty much what I do. And then I go, we'll go and repeat the process until I get the ball in the hole. I hope that pre-shot routine's helped you. It will take some time to work through the routine and work out a routine that suits you. This one suits me really well. It has always worked for me pretty well, so I'm really happy with this one. Give that one a go. Give yourself some time. It'll probably take, you know, a few weeks for you to settle into a routine. 
But if you can get a routine happening, that means that you can start getting focused on what you're actually doing and then your results are actually going to be better. Hope you enjoyed that tip for this week. Uh, let me know how you go. Send me an email, post a message on Facebook. I'd really love to hear from you and have a great day. Happy practicing.